All right, now we are at the ugly part of Proposition 19. This deals with rental property. So if mom and dad, or grandma and grandpa pass away and leave their child or grandchild a rental property, that property will, and you notice I capitalized will, will be reassessed to current market value, period. That's, that's it, okay? I know that that is a shocker to some people. They think they can inherit the property from their parents and keep the same old, old property taxes. But in the case of rental property, that, that transfer of property taxes has been completely excluded. So let's go in to, uh, to see what that actually looks like. All right, mom and dad or grandma and grandpa pass away and they leave their child or grandchild around a property. So let's imagine that parents, grandma and grandpa, bought a, a fourplex, you know, a four-unit rental, four-unit uh, uh, residential property. And th this could be anything. This could be a small strip mall. It could be a massive apartment complex that they bought um, years ago and has really low property taxes. In, in our case, let's just say they bought a fourplex. They bought a fourplex in, in 1989 for about $600,000. It's been rented this whole time. They've enjoyed the income off of it. Um, under Proposition 19, those property taxes could only have increased by 2% per year. So from 1989 until the end of 2022, the taxable value, this is, this is not the sales value or the sales price, this is the taxable value of the property of that fourplex has risen now from $600,000 to $1.2 million in 2022. But yet the current market value of that fourplex is $3 million. Okay, here's what the math looks like in terms of property taxes. The taxable value of that fourplex has risen to 1.2 million. And so mom and dad, grandma and grandpa are paying $15,000 a year in property taxes. That's a lot of money still, but it's not as much as it could be. So that means that, that in the factor of that, the way we calculate that is 1.25% property taxes based on the tax of, taxable value of 1.2 million. Now they passed away, you have the child or grandchild has inherited that property and the current market value of that fourplex is $3 million. That means that the child or grandchild will pay $37,500 in property taxes and that's 1.25% times the current market value of $3 million. So you can see we have gone from $15,000 a year to $37,500 a year. So that's, what is that, $17,500 more per year? You know, it's, so it's more than double. That's actually more than that. Um, so anyways, the, it's a significant increase in property taxes. And the challenge that most of these people face when they've inherited this rental property is not only have they seen their property taxes increase, but because of some of the, uh, the cities that have kind of a rent control or State of California has a limit on how much you can raise rents. Some of these people are caught in a situation where they can't raise the rent enough to cover the additional property taxes, which means that sometimes they may be forced into selling that property. So that's why I call this the ugly part of Proposition 19, because it, it's caught people off guard and it has forced some of them to sell a property that maybe their, their family has owned for for a couple generations. I, I know a couple people in that situation. So that's why that's, that is uh, called the ugly. That's why I refer to it as ugly. So if you're confused, which I don't blame you if you are, it is a, this is a kind of a dry subject and it's very confusing. But if you are confused about Proposition 19, I would say to call me. Um, again, I can't give you financial or legal advice but I can point you in the right direction as someone that may be able to help you. There, there, there are some ways to minimize the impact of this, but your attorney and your financial advisor have to weigh that against uh, income tax considerations um, if you're trying to keep property taxes down. So um, call me if you have questions on this and I'll be happy to point you in the right direction.